Let's zoom in here and watch the whole thing. There is no sound. All right. Good to see that one again. It's been a while. So you're saying here, I'm trying to make it look like she sees something, tries to play it off, and then pulls out the gun. All right, all right let me see. Yes, I mean, to me, it's more like she is, she knows what's there and just plays it off as in, okay, I'm leaving, but I'm not really leaving. And then gets shot. That's kind of the impression that I have versus she is, she is moving and then happens to see something. So, oh, oh, and I want to go back to this. Like this to me is an intentional look over. So I'm not quite sure which in which direction you're you're leaning in to. I don't know, whatever the English way is there. What I would say, this feels a little bit like there's a director off screen, clearly off screen. <laughs> They're always off screen, where he goes and action, and then this happens. Mainly because it's besides that slight change, this feels just a bit mirrored and default, and then they start moving as opposed to maybe cutting into something earlier or just having a different pose or just a different action like this subjectively as always the other thing is too is when she looks back like this just watch out what her eyes are doing she has a clear look this way like slightly down but then as she moves over and that should probably change All right when she does this, now suddenly she looks down. Then she has a big look up and then looks really down again. And then finally looks there. Like this, this is the first, to me, intentional look where she's doing something. All right, I'm deciding where, where to look. Where, there's this intention behind it. Whereas the beginning, again, as she looks here, she's kind of all over the place. I'm not sure how how to feel about that. She feels more like a lifeless doll. And now suddenly she's alive looking. Again, this might be the intention, but that's just to me how it reads. And then she comes more alive where she has kind of like, hey, it pretends everything is okay. Clean silhouettes. That's all good. Bit tricky to read a bunch of stuff, you know, with big sleeves, all that hair of what's going on but there's some good in-betweens and breakdowns and like that reads clearly like I've, to me everything is working fine you know you haven't gotten to the hands yet so that just feels all default to me it's the biggest thing it's just the beginning how she looks and what she does it feels almost in a way over animated in terms of that big drag and look down and then up but at the same time not animated enough where she doesn't feel alive because just the eyes are just parented to the head and only here. It's almost like you, you would start here. And that like that to me works would work just as well. If you're starting here, up, hey, hey, I'm leaving, but I'm not really leaving. And then this happens, if that makes sense. Versus I don't know if you need all of this. And I don't know what all of this means in the context of the whole shot. Other than that, there's some fun stuff. Once you spline this out, it's going to be interesting. It's a nice little pop feel swooping so you might have to have you know another breakdown once you're done with this leg comes out just a bit more a bit of a moving hold and then come back down and then i think you can start getting into uh hand poses and i don't know if you have do you have controllers it would be great if this sleeve would be you know dragging so it's just not this tube i don't know if that rake has those controls but or scale them down. I know this would change the character design, but it's just, it's a bit, it's a bit wonky with all the big shapes. Watch out for this. You want to move that wrist forward and adjust the finger poses. This feels too broken at that point there. And that feels almost a bit too broken. The fingers as well. Let's see here, hold on. There you go. So you might have to scale the gun around a little bit or something, you know, scale this down so the finger and come up here and then you got your index there this just feels really spread out there all right this is me i changed the timing there you go 
yeah, I mean, that's kind of that. The rest is, is clear. My question to you is more like, what's your intention at the beginning? Could we also just start here? Does it tell the same story just at the beginning to have that? And then that's it. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.